Scottish Labour delegates have rejected a rebel motion calling for the UK to rejoin the single market and instead rallied behind Jeremy Corbyn's pro-Brexit strategy. The party's conference in Dundee voted overwhelmingly for a unity motion crafted by its Scottish executive after deep divisions over Corbyn's proposals emerged between the party's centrists and the Labour leadership. The vote which endorsed Corbyn's pledge to oppose Brexit if the deal failed to protect workers' rights and included full access to the single market, came as John Macdonald, the shadow chancellor, pledged £70 billion in extra spending for Scotland. Macdonald sought to shore up Labour's promises to reinvest heavily in the economy and public spending after Brexit. He promised £30 billion in extra in spending on public services in Scotland and £40 billion on infrastructure over the next decade, financed by heavier taxes and borrowing. Giving the closing conference speech, Macdonald hinted at the Labour leadership's central arguments against the EU. Both north and south of the border, lives have been destroyed and millions left in despair thanks to the failed economic dogma of neoliberalism and austerity. Austerity was always a political choice, not an economic necessity, he said. Quick Guide Labour's 2017 manifesto said merely that the party wanted to retain the benefits of the single market and the customs union, and did not say the UK should stay in either. In recent months, however, a series of senior Labour figures have argued for the UK to be in a customs union post-Brexit. Labour says the latter is the existing arrangement, which ends when we leave the EU, and that a union could retain the bulk of the benefits without overly tying the UK to rules made in Brussels. Critics, mainly in the government, argue that this could be seen as Labour's own version of an unrealistic cake-and-eat-it approach. Corbyn has never seemed that keen on the customs union, but he has faced pressure both from members of his team, the shadow Brexit secretary. Keir Starmer has played a key role, and the fact that the majority of Labour members support customs union and single market membership. There is also the incentive that Labour could defeat the government in the Commons by voting with Tory rebels on an amendment to back the customs union. Thank you for your feedback. Before McDonnell spoke there were repeated clashes over Corbyn's decision to reject any formal continued membership of the single market to the customs union on a similar footing to Norway. In the run-up to Sunday's vote, officials close to Corbyn and the Scottish Labour leader, Richard Leonard, had accused the pro-EU grouping of using the issue to mount a proxy war by Labour's moderates against the party's leadership, a charge they deny. The spokeswoman for Scottish Labour's single market campaign is Kezia Dugdale, the former Scottish Labour leader who had opposed Corbyn's leadership but and who had backed Leonard's rival Anna Sawa last year. One pro-EU speaker, Donald McKinnon from the Western Isles, said leaving the single market would be catastrophic for the Hebridean economy by increasing the costs of its exports of products such as Harris Tweed and by removing EU subsidies. John Macdonnell, the Shadow Chancellor, promised the Scottish Labour Conference an extra £70 billion in spending for Scotland. Photograph Aaron Chan, PA to applause from some delegates, McKinnon accused party leaders of perpetuating myths that the EU's rules prevented the UK from renationalising industries or using state aid to invest in others. He attacked the Scottish executive's decision to put its unity motion to a vote first, which meant the rival pro-single market motion would fall. He said his constituency party would abstain from the vote. The SEC shouldn't have interfered with the democratic process of conference, he said. Catherine Stiller, a Scottish Labour MEP who has championed continued single market membership, urged Labour to embrace a Norway-style option of joining the European Economic Area EEA, as that had the greatest chance of protecting jobs, wages and production. She said the party had to remember a large majority of Scottish voters had backed Remain at the 2016 referendum. Remaining part of the single market is the only way we can mitigate the worst effects of leaving the EU, she said. John Erskine, a delegate from Inverness, backed her up. Citing analysis that said Brexit would cut economic output by 9%, Erskine said, let's be clear, there is no left-wing case for Brexit. Is a myth. The complaints were rebutted by a series of speakers who had supported Corbyn's leadership. Ria Wolfson, a left-wing member of Labour's national executive, said the party had to prioritise unity if it wanted to win the next election. 
echoing several other speakers, Wolfson insisted the six tests laid out by Keir Starmer, Labour's shadow Brexit secretary, on protecting jobs, the economy and a tariff-free deal, protected Labour's values. The Labour Party 